Hey, Paul the Pool Guy here in the beautiful town of Norwell, Massachusetts. You called to a customer's house. They decided to hold their pool cover on with cinder blocks. Something I advised not doing. Got windy, lifted the cover, pulled several of the cinder blocks into the pool down there. I've already moved the cover aside. Last night we got some ice. As you can see, gonna have to dive under that and uh, get these bricks out of here. Gonna try to take you down there with me. And I'll have the experience of uh, what it's like to dive under an ice covered pool. Put the camera down while I get my mask on. And uh, away we'll go. Air, air, tempers, air temperature is about uh, 42, 43. Water is probably 35, 37. There we go. Number one, going out of the pool. Try not to do any more damage. This would be a lot easier if I had some help. Let's see, everybody's in church today. Guess I wish I was there too. Here we go, brick number two. it on video over in the corner there there's a black tape mark right above the water level that's where the customer marked the water level when the bricks fell in it doesn't really seem to be going down one of the things I tell people is if something falls in the pool leave it there it's not going to do any more damage damage has already been done you'll probably do more damage pulling it out by yourself with a net or whatever if you leave it in, I can come and take it out safely. And it also shows me the path that it may have fallen in. I can do a visual inspection, doing the repairs. All right, getting a little cold, starting to feel a little bit of 37 degree water through my dry suit. So here we go for brick number three. One, two, three. Three bricks safely out of the pool. I think that's, not, that's it. Let's go down and take a look for damage. We'll swim under the cover, show you guys what it looks like under the cover. December 11th, 2011.
surprise. Fourth brick I couldn't see. I actually bumped into it with my hand before I saw it just then. See all the ice in the pool breaking up. Don't like that either. I want to push some of the sharp shards of glass into the side of the liner that's already brittle because it's cold. But you got to do what you got to do. Uh, and actually, these these bricks probably could have sat there until next spring. The homeowner just feels a lot better getting them out. Uh, you go down, you can actually see the shadows of the broken ice against the side of the pool. I'll try to point it out to you. Here we go. One last swim, I hope. That's it, I love to stay down and do more swimming, but it does get kind of boring. And I'm actually not that cold. The dry suit did leak. My hands are a little uh, tingly right now. There's the four bricks we pulled out of the pool. For those of you watching this on YouTube, if you do decide to use bricks to secure your liner down, your liner cover, tie them, secure them to the side with a rope, the one, the, one of the uh, posts on your fence. Uh, that way if the cover blows in, the bricks don't end up with them. There we go. Call the pool guy. Ice-covered pool in Norwell. <laughs> <laughs> 